Good morning. Happy Thursday. Tracy here with Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you so very much for the subscribes, the likes, the shares, the views, the comments. This morning I want to start off by saying good morning. I want to say good morning to Sharon, to Sherry. I want to say good morning to Purple Dragonfly, to Dragonfly Spirit, and I want to say a good morning to my spiritual daughter, to Delphi. So let's just jump in, see what Spirit has for us, and we're just going to get started. If you have not had an opportunity to subscribe, I would appreciate if you do so. I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers. Bottom of the deck, we have a message. There's a message in a bottle may not necessarily come in the bottle, but there's a message that's coming that we need to look out for, we need to pay attention to, because it's something that Spirit is bringing to us. Observer, maybe someone is looking at us, looking at us from afar. Could be somebody who's imagining a life with us, Imagining going the distance with us. Yeah. Could be somebody that is kind of checking us out. Maybe they feel like they're alone and they wonder if you're alone and maybe you guys could be together. Something about this observer. What is it, Spirit? What's the message? What's the message? Thank you. Um, these, too many came out. What's the message, Spirit? Thank you. Oh, I feel like I have to sneeze in a minute. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, good Lord. Mm. I think I knocked around some brains. Okay, we have fork in the road. Building blocks. Never ending story. We have between worlds. Here and now. And to the sea. And on the bottom we have all the glitters. So I feel like someone is is seeing how they are at a fork in the road. Not the first fork in the road, but a fork in the road again. They're at the point where they are just starting to build themselves up. They're at the point where they are making progress. And they're noticing it's progress that they are, are making, but it's it's rough. It's tough out there. Because it seems like it's a never-ending story. They're trying to leave an old way of life and go to a new way of life. But it seems like what they have to get rid of, what they have to let go of, what no longer works for them, it seems like it's 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 never-ending story. Like it's hard to get past that last part. But it's coming, that push is coming. It's coming here and now. And what's happening is, is spirit is actually taking you away. Maybe not physically away, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you're going in a new direction. You're going to the sea. You're going where spirit wants you to be. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords. Yeah. It's that old life. Someone is leaving that old life. Someone is leaving what they thought was the way that they should go. And it's like they're, they are. It's that old, that last push. 
that last push of where they need and it's like that last burst of energy to get them over that mountain to get them past that that last part that last hurdle so that they can come in so that they don't no longer feel left out in the cold no longer feel like this was this is where they're leaving this is what they want to leave and like this is why they need that last push cuz like I said they feel like it's a never ending story but I'm telling you the truth is here someone is between worlds they're leaving they are leaving They realize that now. Now they're seeing how they've been building up. Now they're starting to wake up and see. And the because things are starting to turn in their favor. Like I said, they were at that fork on the road and those building blocks. They're starting to see a little bit by a little bit of progress. They're starting to see. Then they're looking back at okay, well, it used to be like this. Now it's like this. I used to feel like that. Now I feel like this. They're looking back and how they used to be closed off. How they used to feel like they had to protect themselves. Until maybe they felt like it was time for them to leave a certain situation. That never ending story. Between worlds. It's like that sometimes, you know, like trying to get past something, trying to reach a goal. And it seems like you take one step forward, two steps back, two steps forward, one step back. So you feel like you're never getting there, but you are getting there. It's like the little progress, little by little. It's not giving up. It's being proud of the little bit that you were able to do, to accomplish. It's realizing, you know, all the wonderful things within you. And that never ending story People think that they're caught between worlds. You're not. It's just how you're choosing to view it. Because the old way of life, it's done, it's over with. Now you have to choose to view it, choose to see it in a different light. time to turn your back on what we thought were great working relationships but they weren't I'm here to tell somebody once again two is company and three is a crowd and I feel like someone had to learn that the hard way Again, and again, and again, and again. Someone had to learn the hard way. Two is company, and three is a crowd. Because there's somebody that was in their life that chose, that was so immature. This person was immature. This person was just out for money. This person had a good way with words. They had a really good way with words. Could have been somebody that you've known for a long time. But this person was immature. This person refused to heal. And this is the person who 
cause you pain over and over again. This is the one that you having to pick yourself back up again. Because you refuse to learn the lesson the first few times. And this is how we are between worlds. Because we are seeing that we are at that fork in the road again. And somebody's calling and they're saying, don't turn your back on me. Wait, what about our relationship? I call bullshit. I call bullshit. How dare someone say, what about our relationship if you've been doing me wrong? What relationship? If you've done me wrong, what relationship? If you lied to me, what relationship? If you stabbed me in the back, what relationship are you talking about? Which one? That's why you're having to turn your back on someone so that you can leave that never-ending story so that you don't get stuck between worlds. Someone has to remember the here and now and they have to remember what relationship. What relationship. Buddy, once again, what relationship? It's time for me to go. More importantly, it's time for you to skedaddle. This is the here and the now. This is spirit taking us to the sea. This is spirit saying, that's done. And for someone to think that they can come back in your life, promising you this, whenever really they gave you this, sometimes you have to ask someone if they're trying to convince you to stay in the relationship. Sometimes you have to ask them, what relationship are you talking about? And that way you can kind of break it down to what relationship you're leaving. That way they understand where they stand and where you stand. They understand what it looked like from your point of view, not just their point of view. They can start to wake the fuck up as to what you went through while they was doing them, while they was acting like well, they was acting like they didn't even have a clue. They sitting here doing all of this. Just, just too much. Like you couldn't see it. Like it didn't affect you. So you got to ask them. What relationship are you talking about? Then I need to stay around for. Explain it to me. Explain how you think it was for me. Because I want to hear this one. It's got to be good. Give them a chance to explain how they feel. You marveled in that bullshit. And then that way you can break it down to them about how they can miss you with that. They can be the fool, play the fool with somebody else. Because... You see clearly exactly what they are and who they are and what they're doing. And you see what their true intentions were. So, give them their walking papers. Let them be free. But most importantly, allow yourself to be free. Have 
have the strength, gain the clarity, and don't worry about moving on, because what you're doing is you're you're moving on past that. Have the strength to gain the clarity to look at what you're really what you really left, what is real, what it really is, and work on yourself. Sometimes we we allow ourselves to stay in stuff. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands. We allow ourselves to stay in things that no longer serve us, that only end up bringing us down. Only end up hurting us. Keep us confused whenever really Spirit is telling us it's time for us to move on. We allow people's words to keep us confused whenever we refuse to look at their actions because their actions tell us exactly what they're what they're really about. We need to look at their actions, single those out, and and stop listening to what words that they're going to try and say. We have to make sure that we are protected always. And we don't have those rose-colored glasses on that we can actually see everything for what it is and understand when someone's trying to bring us a bunch of bullshit. Because at some point, they feel like they have nothing to lose and only everything to gain. And you, you have everything to to lose dealing with them and nothing to gain dealing with them. Someone's going to come with an apology. It's going to be something kind of fishy in their cup. They want you to take them back. They want to start a, a brand new relationship with you because they see now they took you for granted. They took you for granted and they see that you're happy they see that you're 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 moving forward they see that you've learned lessons you're very intuitive you're very on point and like i said they they took you and this entire relationship for granted because they they were on some other type of trip it was on some other type of trip. They was on this, let me get in, let me do this, let me do that. I can keep somebody stuck like Chuck because they thinking that we, we a couple. They thinking that I have something for them. They thinking that I really want to be in a relationship with them. They're thinking this, they're thinking that. But really, they were taking you for granted. Now that they can't take you for granted, they want to come back and they want to act like... I want it to be just you and me. Whereas, really, this this could be a King of Cups had a shock. Had a shock. A shock of a lifetime when somebody had a shock when somebody actually walked away. And that's whenever, the, when somebody had the courage to actually walk away because they weren't getting that love. They weren't getting that respect. They weren't they weren't getting none of that. That's whenever that person decided to take off the blindfold and see where they were actually at. And once they took off that blindfold and they felt exactly where they were at, they knew that it was time for them. It was time for them to do whatever they needed to do to to leave this old way of being behind because breaking it down they were not happy with this at all this little action that they did this little immature action that they did because they was following somebody else that was extremely immature and they didn't realize they was following somebody else that was extremely immature until karma came back to bite them And it took a bite out of crime. And whenever they realized and said, wait a minute. This person even isn't even acting like their age. Because everybody said, why are, you, why are you following this fool? 
why are you following this fool? This fool ain't done shit but get you messed up. And that's when somebody really had to say, you know what? Maybe everybody telling me about this fool is the truth and I see now I'm stuck. Somebody was stuck. Somebody was stuck. It's almost like it was God himself who had to came, come and show this person, you know what, you ain't doing shit with this person. All it is is just somebody that you know from a long time ago. Somebody that should have been left in the crowd a long time ago. You were supposed to have been on your own a long ass time ago. But some, you know, it's like people, they, they, they want to say, well, I, because I have this relationship from a while back, I owe it something. You don't owe nothing, nobody, nothing except yourself. That's it. That's it. You don't owe any, anyone, anything except yourself. Spirit says, you know what? Have the strength, the courage to move on. It's time for you to elevate. It's time for you to go up that escalator. It's time for you to ascend. It's time for you to look at the bigger picture. Get out of whatever that is. Get away from whoever that was or that is. You know, someone says it's time to go back to work and that could be working on you something about a coven yeah something about a coven you better beware you can only control what's on the inside of you someone needs to understand that because I feel like someone they felt like they, they was around someone that uh, first of all this person is was obsessed with you and that's why they didn't want you to go anywhere. But um, someone was with someone who was trying to control them. Like seriously control them. And thinking that, um, well, yeah, can't make this up. Could have been like a narcissistic father, father figure. Someone like that that was trying to make them stuck. Trying to say, no, you don't want that. No, you don't want that. You don't want that. Because they're trying to steal your gift. Whatever it is that your gift is. Whether it's you. Whether it's your inheritance. And your inheritance could be trying to cause wedges between you and your children. They tried to get you fired from whatever spiritual position that was, from whatever 3D position that was. And now they're scared that you remove those swords from your back. Someone is getting a pay raise. Could be you. Because of your belief in God. Someone believes highly in God and God has given them when I say a pay raise, it could be additional spiritual gifts. Because someone chose God. Somebody, Q, R, S, or T. Someone needs to understand that your your future depends on your wise choices. Whether they're relationship choices, business choices, something. Somebody else real, realized that it wasn't worth it. They see somebody else is on the good side of karma. Someone is excited about your new beginning. I'm telling you, someone is between uh, worlds. They opened up their third eye. To see what was really happening. To see what was really going on. Someone else could be getting uh, being placed behind bars. Either physically or in the spiritual world. And someone that is close to their soul tribe. Once again, 
I don't know that bulldozer, but yep, the the hitman turned on the boss. So it was like somebody was out there causing the causing chaos, and they had their flying monkeys around. Well, one of those flying monkeys realized they was a flying monkey. And once they realized they was a flying monkey, they turned on the number one narcissist. It's all goody in the hood. And someone is saying, hey, wait a minute. It's all good in the hood now because it was good in the hood when we was doing it to somebody else. It's not what you want to do. It's what you got to do. Someone understands it's got what they have to do to get them that last push, that last push so that they become can become a divine masculine. They had to realize God had to separate you. God separated them. Like I said, they, they had to realize they was dealing with a coven, a witch's coven. And God had to separate them so that the, so that God could bless them. And this person was going through something, not realizing what the separation was for. But now that they understand what that separation is for, I'm telling you, they're happy. Because God pulled up in the El Camino, baby. Somehow someone was living in an altered reality. They were living in some type of altered reality, not being able to see the forest through the trees. And, and didn't we start off with that message in the bottle? And we're going to stop right here. Because someone is concerned because of, they got that message. Something about a message. And it was funny at first. Until it wasn't funny. Could have to do with their money. Could have to do with their teeth. Damn. Somebody needs to sage. And that's it. I want y'all to have a wonderful Thursday. Let me know if you need me. Email me. Comment, subscribe, and see you soon.